right, boys and girls, and welcome to Goron Guitar. We have Powerful here with this song called Crow's Nest. So this one is about three different chords. We'll look at the way of playing the picking pattern, and we'll also look at the chords when it comes to strumming. They will differ a little bit, uh, but anyway, let's take it from the beginning. No need for any capo on this one. We're going clean. And the chords we're talking about is the E major seven, the B and the F sharp. So we will look at the pickings first, but we need to go over the chords. So let's take a look at the chords to begin with. All right. So this is the E major seven. And uh, what you do here, you place a short little bar here on the fourth fret. And uh, you really need only from the G string and down. So that means three strings from bottom up. So the E, B and G like this on the fourth fret. And then you add the six here on D string and seventh on the A. So it's a little bit stretchy, but that is what you will use. And if it's too hard for you, you actually can skip this uh, seven on A and just go for this grip. A little bit easier for you, so it's enough. This is not the full range of the chord here, um, but it will be enough actually for this song because it's very on the high strings, this song. So it will be enough if you can't add this seventh on A. All right, so that is the E major seven. Then the B, when it comes to the strumming later, I will suggest that you use this B here, the standard B. So that's a bar chord, a bar on the second fret from the A string and down. So all strings except from the E string here in the bass. And then the rest will be fourth on D and fourth on G. You could add the fourth on B as well if you go with a clean B, but it's enough with the B sus chord here. And the final chord we need is the F sharp. So that's a bar chord still on the second fret, this time over all strings. Let's replace the bar and then the rest will be fourth on A, fourth on uh, D and third on G. All right. so. Those are the chords when it comes to strumming, and you will see now that we will use different grips, still same chords, but a little bit different grips when it comes to the picking pattern. All right, so we'll start with the picking patterns now, and we'll go back to this E major 7. So one round goes like this, or like this. All right, so what I mean by or you have different uh, starting positions here, which uh, which bass note you choose to use here. Sometimes in the song, the seventh fret on A string is used, but mostly the sixth fret on the D string is used. So um, if you can't stretch out to this uh, seventh on A, like I mentioned before, just go with the sixth on D string because that is the most uh, used bass note for this chord in the song. All right, so it goes six on D or seventh on A. So it's up to you. I use a six on D now. Then fourth on G, fourth on B, and back to fourth on G. That is one round, so. Right? You're gonna play that for four rounds, so. Then the B, the next one, will be just enough to have a bar here on the fourth fret. This time you have the bar now uh, from the D string and down, all right? So four strings on bottom up like this, you just place a bar, and then you're gonna play that for two rounds. And that is fourth on D, fourth on G, fourth on B, and back to fourth on G. for two rounds, so. All right. And then we have the final chord, the F sharp based chord, and it looks like this. A little bit different, it goes like this. All right.
right? So the grip here um, will be fourth on D, third on G, fourth on B, and second on E. So you're gonna play fourth on D, third on G, fourth on B, and back to third on G. That's the first round. And this is about two rounds, so the second round will be fourth on D, third on G, second on E, and fourth on B. So slowly it goes like this. So that was the F sharp thing here. And uh, when it comes to strumming, if we go back to that, uh, I teach uh, this F sharp, all right? Uh, in my opinion, it's a little bit easier. Uh, I believe it's easier across um, um, most people are more used to this kind of based um, bar, bar chords. Um, these are more common. This one is a little bit different grip there. So if you want, you can use this as well when you use the strumming pattern. Um, but uh, I suggest this one if you're more used to the bar chords. In any way, it's up to you to choose that. So uh, one round of this melody goes like this. that's that and then when it comes to the strumming we didn't look at the strumming pattern so if we go back to that we will have this E major 7 chord all right and one strumming round will be down up clap up so that is one round so down up clap this and then you switch to the B two times and the F sharp two times yeah so you do that through entire song E major 7, 4 rounds, B 2 rounds, and F sharp 2 rounds. You go in the same amount of rounds when it comes to the picking patterns there. And that is Crow's Nest by Palfu. So thank you for watching, guys, and play tuned.